Distributed ledger technology, DLT, otherwise known as blockchain, is exactly what it sounds like. A system where the record or ledger is kept as a reference, not in one centralised location, but distributed across the entire network, each member node of that network storing the full record of all transactions from the chain from inception. This gives blockchain its censorship-resistant qualities and is effectively the only value proposition of such a system. Bitcoin, like Minima, uses the UTXO model, unspent transaction output model, and the current size of its database is in the region of 400 gigabytes. The Ethereum blockchain employs an account-based computational model, which is much heavier, and its database is currently around 4 terabytes. When Paddy, Spartacus Rex, first imagined Minima, he realised the absolute need for each and every user to be equal, each and every user to run the same software in full. The only way this would ever be possible would be if it were on a device that everyone has. That device is a smartphone. The idea that a smartphone could, would or should have that amount of storage is simply a non-starter. The solution for this is the MMR database. What is the MMR and how does it work? Building on the work of Peter Dodd's theoretical storageless proof database, Paddy has successfully implemented this seemingly impossible structure to store limitless amounts of transaction data on your smartphone with a footprint that never grows. Consider the database a Merkle tree. The Merkle tree is a hash chain. Every user remembers their own branch, the branch that points from their coins to the root of the tree. The tips of the branches are the leaf nodes, the leaf nodes are the coins, or UTXOs. But everyone also keeps the, the hash of the root of the tree, and every branch goes to the root of that tree. Nobody worries about any other branches at all because they can't spend them. Immediately, you can see that this is an infinitesimally small amount of data compared to the entire blockchain. The hash of the root of the tree changes every block. This is a hash chain, which means that every parent is the hash of the children, so it cannot be faked. The fact that you keep your own branch provable and everyone can agree on the hash of the root of the tree is all we need to verify the chain in full, collectively. How does the database not grow in size, you ask? Consider the tree as a fractal pattern, a finite infinity repeating in exponentially smaller and smaller dimensions, a cascading chain of orders of power of two magnitude different between each level of difficulty. A finite infinity? Oh, that, make my, that makes my head hurt. What's that? Okay, look at the wall in front of you. Now, consider taking a step halfway towards that wall, and now take another step that takes you halfway there again, and halfway there again, and halfway there again. You can keep stepping halfway towards the wall forever, for an infinite amount of time, an infinite amount of steps, and you will never ever reach that wall. That is a finite infinity. How big is it really? Well, there is a maximum number of leaf nodes possible on our Merkle tree, and that number is 2 to the 256. How big is that? Well, in order to visualise the amount of data on paper, you would have to arrange for a fleet of 747 cargo freighters packed with telephone books and encyclopedias filled with transactional data to power dive into your telephone every millisecond forever. That's a lot of data. The branches of these trees do not grow. They do grow, but logarithmically. So they grow fast at first and then tend to a stable length within that finite infinity. I hope this has helped in some way explain how Minima can keep a database, a provable database for everyone's transactions and everyone's coins on such a small footprint that never ever grows. Thank you.